guys doing? I hope you're all well. I've decided today's vlog is going to be a little more creative. I wanted to put together 10 books that I'm going to be reading for 2020. I hope I can get through all of them really. Uh, another thing that I'll be doing is cooking with you. We'll go to the kitchen and we're going to cook together. I'm going to make some lentil soup and um, I'm quite hungry actually so that's going to be perfect timing and uh, then I'll have the recipe down below if you like you can check it out. Also, uh, later I'm hoping to do maybe a little bit of art. So today's vlog is creative. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to share with you today 10 books that I'm hoping to read, to be honest. I hope I can get through them. I'm thinking I'm only going to get through five, but I've chosen five extra to have as backup. So, I'm not going to read too much of the back. I'm just going to pick out some words. There's something in my hair. This one first. Uh, Michael Odonji, The Cat's Table. Michael Odonji is one of my favorite authors. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Michael Odonji. Uh, this book, The Cat's Table, is about a young boy in the 1950s. Um, and uh, it says, an 11-year-old boy put alone on a aboard a ship bound for England and uh, he is sitting far away from the captain's table uh, and sitting at the cat's table uh, and it appears that he's sitting with uh, two other kids and a shadowy figure from the British Secret Service so a whole bunch of characters uh, on a voyage I'm really excited to read this so Michael Donji the cat's table Next book is The Life of Pi, Yann Martel. I've already started reading this. It's really exciting. I love zoology and animals, so it starts off with talking about a lot about animals and their behavior. Really exciting. One boy, one boat, one tiger. A modern classic. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to completing this. I've already started. I'm on page 48. I love it so far. So third book. Uh, and I'm not going to read these in this order. I'm just saying this is the third book that I've chosen, but I might just like switch them around as I'm going. So, uh, third book, Fred, blah, blah, blah. third book, Frederick Backman, A Man Called Ove. Grumpy old man, complains about everything. I love it. <laughs> That's all you had to tell me. And I uh, just uh, find um, elderly people very amusing and very funny and I love them. So I know I'm gonna love this book. Laurie Forrest, The Black Witch, anything to do with witchery, I love reading books about witches. Uh, fascinating. Um, this character is has a past with, uh, I think, that she wants to be an apothecary. She's the granddaughter of the Black Witch and so she deals with a lot of evil and it's a make-believe world that's just wonderful. So excited to read that. Next, A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Hanya Yanagihara. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, a Little Life, it's about four college classmates and um, they deal with a lot of addiction, success, pride, uh, and you know, deals with a lot of in friendship. So uh, really excited to read that. I did start reading, I think I'm on page 36, but I'm gonna have to start over again because there's lots of characters and I need to like read it over. <laughs> so yeah. A Little Life, one of my favorite authors as well. Heather O'Neill, The Lonely Hearts Hotel. It just looks magical, the cover, and it feels really nice and soft. Um, it says, set in Montreal in New York and New York between the wars, a spellbinding story about two orphans whose unusual magnetism and talent allow them to imagine a sensational future. Real excited to read this, and it feels so nice. And it just looks magical, doesn't it? Another book by Friedrich Bachmann, Bear Town. I started reading this as well. A little hockey town, community setting. I'm looking forward to reading this as well. So um, let's see, we can pick some words out. National Championships, Victory, Kevin, Brilliant Professional Future NHL Player, uh, Responsible for Hopes, Burden, Accusations are made, ripples on a pond. They travel through all of Beartown, leaving no resident unaffected. 
there's a few words for you for this one. Excited to read this. Karen Slaughter, Pretty Girls. And uh, Sister Strangers Survivors. It's been more than 20 years since Claire and Lydia last spoke. Claire is the glamorous trophy wife of an Atlanta millionaire. Lydia, a single mother dating an ex-con, struggles to make ends meet. But neither has recovered from the disappearance of their sister, Julia, two decades earlier. Shocking murder and murder mystery. I love murder mysteries. So there's another one. And we have two more to go. The Diviners. Le Bray. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Do you believe there are ghosts and demons? Diviners among us? Ooh, I'm going to love this book. So I'm really excited. It takes place in the 1920s, 26 to be precise. New York. Awesome. Dance with a murder unfolds. Dark and evil has awakened. Ooh. So yeah. So here's another book, Annabelle uh, by Kathleen Winter. And it's right here. And it's about, it says in 1968, into the beautiful spare environment of a remote coastal Labrador, a mysterious child is born, a baby who appears to be neither fully boy nor girl, uh, but both at once. Only three people are privy to the secret. The baby's parents, Jacintha and Treadway, and the trusted neighbor, Thomasina. Together, the adults make difficult decisions to raise the child as a boy named Wayne. But as Wayne grows into adulthood with the hyper-masculine hunting culture of his father, his shadowy self, a girl, he thinks of as Annabelle, is never entirely extinguished and indeed is secretly nurtured by the woman in his life, haunting and weeping in scope. Annabelle is compelling tale of a one person struggle to discover the truth in culture that shuns contradiction. Really excited to read this. Really excited. So guys, that was the 10 books that I'm hoping to complete in 2020. Now let's go cook because I'm hungry. Let's make lentil soup. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we are guys. I have two cups of washed, cleaned lentils. I have one onion. I have two carrots chopped up. I have three cloves of garlic chopped up. Some thyme. I have some bay leaves, two bay leaves and two allspice balls. I'm gonna be using some tomato paste, two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm also gonna use a quarter cup of olive oil. Uh, I'm gonna put one teaspoon of salt and pepper. And a, so a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, uh, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon pepper, black pepper and a quarter cup of olive oil. Um, and here is the chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth. You can use whatever broth you like. So I'm going to make some chicken broth and put a chicken bouillon in here as well. And I'll show you when I'm putting it in. This has to boil first. So I'm going to put in the bay leaf. going to put in the lentils, two cups of lentils. I'm going to throw in the onions. I'm going to put in the carrots. Throw in the garlic. Throw in the thyme. I'm going to put salt and pepper. And I'm not going to put the olive oil or tomato sauce yet. I'm going to wait 30 minutes, then add tomato paste and olive oil at the end. Just 
going to add the salt and pepper. I'm going to add the pepper. Add the salt. I also have to get the cayenne pepper as well. Quarter teaspoon. Just a little cayenne to give us a little spice. Spice. Spicy, nicey soup. I couldn't help it. I'm hungry. The girls and I just devoured a half a loaf of bread. What? Okay, so the alarm hasn't gone off for 30 minutes. I'm gonna taste this and see if the salt is okay. Let's see where we're at. Flavor, spice, perfect. Here's the lentil soup, everyone. It's ready and it's cozy, comforting, and I hope you try the recipe out. Bye for now. So we ended up doing some art, and I'm really happy about that. The girls did, not, uh, I didn't do any art, I just helped them along. But now I'm just gonna fold some clothes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and it means a lot to me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for my heart, I hope you are well. Remember, stay home, be safe, and uh, love you lots, bye.